Hello, I don't know if I have the mic in the right position. Apologies for that. Actually, it was better there. Anyway, um, so I made a video a couple weeks ago. Wow, this is not as far back as I want. Let me try and pull it up. I made a video a couple weeks ago on my beautiful Pelionia and how I wanted to to transplant it. Well, I don't even have it in the frame. To transplant it um, after once the roots were super filled like i think i was only like a week ago and maybe because the soil was a lot more wet i hadn't noticed that the roots were already kind of nuts um bro is this light gonna turn on there we go um <laughs> i didn't really realize um i went to you know i haven't watered it in a, a good while what? Oh. just whatever allergies i have in a good while and look at these roots they're literally everywhere um i feel like that wasn't the case <laughs> and i will be linking this video but now i guess i have to like find a new spot for it because i guess uh i was really just want to water this right now but i didn't realize the roots were already all the way down there. I don't know if I should wait till it gets a bit thicker or maybe, I mean, I, I might have to. Let me see the, let me see the, if I can see the bottom of this. That's something super crazy at the bottom. Even around the rim, but I mean, it's just giant mass of roots that I had not realized it had gotten that far. Um, and that, those are the, that's one of the leaves that I was like, is that a leaf that's just growing underneath the soil? Which I think it is. Let me see if I can. Oh, shit. Wow, this soil is dry. Are there a couple of leaves there? Maybe. This is kind of pointless, but you can't really see. So let me just leave that. Uh, actually, no, it looks like it's, no. Okay, it's just like a dead leaf. Cool. Um. Maybe you can see that the top, the center, the leaves are a bit pale, but of course the older, well I assume the older leaves, are a lot uh, darker in color, um, a lot more velvety. I if I can see, where is the camera? It's on this side. Oof. A lot more velvety matte. Um, maybe a little dusty, but... I actually just got a spray bottle, so maybe I should do that. I don't know. I, just, I don't know that this needs more humidity to start growing super great right now. Um, in this dry ass <laughs> soil. It's probably mostly silt, if I'm being honest. I feel like also there was a new stem that's coming out. Oh, this. I don't remember if this was as big last time I showed this. And I feel like that was what, most two weeks ago? Or maybe it was a month ago and I just don't know. Um, but it's, I have to water this. Wow. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, yikes. And then let me go get my, um, let me go get, how do I put this stuff? Let me go get, get, okay, this way. no. Let me go get uh, my um, philodendron that I have in the bathroom. So, this is the little, this little stem, this little sprig right here, was one of the philodendron um, branches, I don't even know what you want to call it, that I got, that fell off, or whatever, from the philodendron I bought, I think, back last year, when I went to the Bailey Flower Show. Usually, I... Can leave it, I have it like on this little 
What the heck is this? Is this like a, a yogurt bun? Oh, sheesh. This is like the worst video. What did it say? I have a of paper here. I'm going to clean it off. Obituary. Obituary. Um, anyway. Usually, I keep it like this. And I just water it. Um, once a day, once every 36 hours sometimes. If I, if I leave it for two days, it usually tends to, like... It dries out really fast. It's not on the bathroom. The bathroom generally has a light on, like, all day long. Because it's... Uh, closed room. There's no window in the bathroom, so... Um, you know, you don't want that uh, humidity building up in that dark place, whatever. Anyway, so this is just also taken off. Oosh! Definitely that's also a pepperoni leaf. I have no idea if it's growing or not, but let me see. I think it'll tug. Actually, it looks... No, it looks like I feel... That's just the soil build up because I think the soil just compacts more and more. Also, it leaches out. And sometime soon, but hopefully not too soon. Actually, I probably need to leave this dry. Maybe it can fluff back up and we'll see. Anyway, um, you can see about where I left the water. The water dries runs out pretty quickly and if i don't water too much a little puddle will just be there and it'll make you know evaporate and let its own humidity tray type of thing um but also like sometimes i overwater it which was the case now which is why it took like two three minutes for me to get this off without you know to minimize spill anyway let's just oosh. just there goes my stylus i don't know if you can see this leaf was old. This leaf came in second. Well, it was the first leaf, rather. This leaf came in second. Now we have another leaf coming out. So, I mean, they're short and stocky, the leaves. But the fact that... Let me see if I can... It's coming out just a little, this little nubbin off of this little, you know, and this thing that we're dying. You can kind of see, or mostly see, that these older leaves are yellowing. So they are... I guess currently just still soaking up light energy for the rest of the plant and pushing it out into these. And these have acclimated nicely. See, they, they look quite nice in their bathroom environment. They're not like, oh my gosh, I can't deal. It's like they're like, I came into this world like this. So that's what they're used to. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just want to share that. Let me try and see. If, I've, I've never bottered, bottom watered this. Um, but I suppose it, it, it wouldn't hurt, right? Let, let me try and do that now then. Okay. All right, so I measured out about two thirds a cup of water and I was, I thought I had measured out half, but I measured out two thirds. So I said, let me try and pour about a third and just see how it, we, you know, we'll go from there. If it ends up soaking it up like a super sponge, then I'll refill. If not, you know, not. So, um, and if you look, the water does go down because it does soak up some water. Um, but if you look, what you can, you're going to see most notably um, are the the leaves and the stems. They perk up ever so slightly. So if you're going to, if you're watching this video thinking it's going to be like the pothos or whatever, and just the water's going to disappear, it's not. It's, you're going to see a little uh, perk in the leaves. That's where you're going to see it most. And I put it into water and then I remember that you know oh I need a stopwatch to actually like gauge because I don't I wouldn't really be able to tell you time otherwise um or it would be a hassle it's just easier with the with the stopwatch inside so so um I ended up having the water in for more for close about to 10 minutes so this video I, I end up cutting out like chunks of like 30 seconds or ish about at a time but Again, uh, despite the light changes, what you can, what I perceive anyway, and despite the very slow water level going down, um, what you might be able to perceive is a, as a, uh, you know, the, the leaves either respirating or the leaves just perking up a bit. So that's where I think you might be able to see most notable changes if you're uh, during this bottom watering. Uh, you weren't, you know, quick to catch on, because I, I too am not also quick to catch on, but I do end up having this, uh, attempt at wat bottom watering, um, what do you call it, this attempt at bottom watering, 
uh, time lapse. It's uh, at most two t- two times two two x speed is what I can have it. But if you are looking at the water level, I will tell you that the water level uh, change is slow. Uh, oh my gosh, so slow because there is some water that is being you know uptook uptaken. I don't know, um, but it's so slow. So. And right there, my mother accidentally <laughs> took my phone, uh, thinking it was hers. You know, that's what happens. And obviously, glass containers are the best because you can not only see the water, you can also see the plant taking it. I had to do with plastic, uh, you know, whatever. Um, but you can even see through the plastic how the bottom portion of the plastic cup the plant is in is a bit darker. You know, that's the water soaking up into the soil. So you could see that this was taking forever, For ever I, I decide you know what let me see let me have a look at this plant see how much water it has or has not taken up i pull it up um not much so i said you know what let me just use the rest of the water and put it on top and look how quickly that just goes through like almost everything and look how it runs out right so for me with this plant definitely top watering is the best if i really wanted to i'm sure i could top water a second time to saturate but this plant does so well like with the bare minimum not neglect but like i don't need to i don't want it rotting either you know i need i need a repot first um so yeah anyway you know if you could you could i'll link the video but i do not think that when i watered my balloon last that it was, or when I had it last in the video, that it was, the roots were this thick. I could not see this much roots. I don't know what happened. I don't know, you know, I don't know what happened. Um, you see how this leaf is a bit burnt. Don't know if that's a light burnt. Does Really, it's just the one leaf. I don't know where it, you know, decided I'm going to be the one different one. Also, I, this plant, I don't know if it also grows. It seems to have new growth, like, everywhere and nowhere. Because it's, like, at closer to the soil, but then also at the tip. The, you know at the end tip of the branches so i don't entirely you know feel super comfortable with how this plant grows i'm sure i could look it up if i wanted to but i don't really want to anyway um i love this plant it needs to repot i'll try to re- record that when i do so anyway thanks for watching bye